I'm still sick and I'm actually on antibiotics. So thank you so much for your support and messages. I have read them all and I just wanted to quickly mention, you know, thank you so much for your support and love. I appreciate it so much and you guys helped me as well. So thank you. I'm getting better and hopefully I will be fully, you know, back soon. So hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope everything's good with you guys so today i have decided to react on ronnie james dio rainbow in the dark live in 1983 so if you want to see my reaction then please keep on watching thank you lovely to be with you today and we should like to do a song to thank you for this song we shall do it to thank you if that makes any sense. The sense is that you made this song happen. You made all of this happen for us. And we should like to do a song for you called Rainbow in the Dark. Is up?
I have done only one reaction previously and I liked it a lot, but I think this song just, I don't know why, but just this song drawed me in a lot more as a song on its own. I just, I loved it. I loved, I loved everything about the song. It's so, it was absolutely amazing. So first of all, let's speak about his vocals. I think I said this before in the previous reaction is that his voice power and control is out of this world. The passion that he sings with is it's out of this world. He expresses himself in a way where I'm so drawn to him. I want to see him. I just really want to listen to things that he's singing about. He's just, he's really good at telling stories and I can see from his performances from the previous as well as this one is that he performs with his heart and soul fully on. He loves and respects the audience and he just expresses love in such a emotional and amazing way and I feel that energy coming through the screen. I cannot imagine what it would be like to be there at the concert because he's like speaking with the audience while he's performing. It just comes naturally. If you're singing about something that is really meaningful to you and something that you truly believe in, and you stand by for what you're singing about, it will come out in a natural way. And it does. It comes out in a completely 100% natural way. So he really cherishes the feeling and the feelings that he feels while he's singing. And that comes out of him, like, from everywhere. It's not only the expressions, it's also vocals. His vocals are insane. There were notes that were off. Everything was on point. And... The power, oh my god, there's so many instruments and it's a heavy kind of instrumental song. It's a heavy one. And to be able to hear him over it and it, it's like, I'm amazed. I absolutely adore when I'm watching their performances and it's it's like, it's mind-blowing. It truly is. I love the whole song, but my favorite part was that there were only drums pretty much where when it slowed down, it was just like boom, pause, boom, pause, boom, pause. Like, I love that kind of uh, change in songs in general. You know, like, it's simple. You know, like, it's a it's a really simple change during a song. Like, it's not something really hard. You just miss a beat, and that's it. But the effect that it gives to a song is something that I love so much, and it's so cool, it's so fun, and I really like the way the song changed on its own. It was just a perfect performance for me. One of the great depression metaphors. In this song, lead singer Ronnie James Dio is feeling isolated and trapped, unable to release the tremendous potential inside him, like a rainbow in the dark. Dio has mentioned his time as Black Sabbath lead singer as inspiration for the lyrics. He felt alone and rejected when he left the band along with Sabbath drummer Winnie Epis. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. He formed Dio in 1983. Along with Holy Driver, this is one of Dio's most popular songs. It's heavy on keyboards, which helped make the song more accessible to a pop audience, something Van Helen did with great success on their album in 1984. Rainbow in the Dark is one of Dio's most enduring songs, but Ronnie James Dio tried to murder it with a razor blade. It's a song I really dislike, he explained in a track by track interview. When it was finished, I announced to everyone that I was going to take a razor blade and cut the tape up. I went for a razor blade and they went, no, no, don't. For me, it was too poppy for the album. I didn't want to create a piece of pop because I came from Black Sabbath, a band that allowed me to do anything as dark as I wanted to do it. I didn't want those people who liked what I did in Black Sabbath to say, now he's changed. He's become a pop artist, but they talked me out of it. And I thank them over and over. I still feel the song is too poppy, but it works. This is so interesting to me. First of all, I'm really happy that he didn't cut the tape with the razor blade because I absolutely love this tune. This song is absolutely amazing. And I actually agree with the band. It's not that poppy. It's not. It's, it's not. Like, if you compare music actual pop music, it's so far from it. I do understand, you know, his point of view as well when you come from Black Sabbath. Like, I have listened to Black Sabbath. They are 
on. They are fully hard rock metal. I do understand his point of view as well, but I and I and I understand as well why he would be afraid of that, you know, losing audience and like he said, um, but I don't agree that this is super poppy and that this would this song would make him a pop singer. No. Hell no. I absolutely loved it. It was so good and I'm also really <laughs> thankful for the band that they said no no don't cut it. But this is really interesting, you know, when you read facts like this, you hear a song which is, which has also like a really deep meaning. And the fact that this song also can help so many other people because it's a relatable issue. It's a serious issue, you know? And the fact that he wanted to, you know, destroy it, it's it's kind of sad. <laughs> but, you know, it worked out in the end and I'm really happy this song exists. And look, it was one of his most famous songs, which is cool. Like, he did it. Like, it worked out perfectly and I absolutely loved it. So please let me know down below in comments what did you thought about this performance and this song. And do you really think this song is too poppy? Don't give me comparison to Black Sabbath, you know, because it's, it's different. But I'm speaking in general. Do you really think this is a poppy song? I don't. I don't agree with this. So please let me know down below in comments what did you thought about the things that he said in his track by track interview. And... Also, please let me know down below in comments on which song should I react on next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction video, then please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and until my next video, bye guys.